Welcome back to another video. In today's video, if you haven't already guessed, we're going to be going through the spine. We're gonna be looking at those bony landmarks. So, if you can uh, ignore my terrible drawing here, one of the key landmarks we've got on the back, and the best way for you to be able to identify anywhere you're going is C7. So, when you're with your client, and the easiest way to do this, and you can actually do this yourself now from home, feel down the back of your neck until you get to the bottom where it bulges out just a little bit and you will be able to feel it yourself. This is going to be C7. If you can find that, you can work anywhere else out on the spine. So once you've got to C7, if you know that after that you've got your thoracic and you know that there's 12 vertebrae there, you can feel down and you can go, right, okay, so this is now going to be T1. Move down, T2, T3, T4, so on and so forth, all by knowing where that C7 is. What you've also actually feeling for, what we're actually feeling obviously is the vertebrae, but it's what we call the spinous process. So these little kind of dots here, it's the bit that's actually going to protrude out. So a little bit like you'd find on a stegosaurus. Yay! It's the spines actually sticking out that we can feel. So that's gonna be your second bony landmark. So as and when we go down here, it's going to be those spinous processes that you're feeling. And then finally, the little wings, the bit that come out to the side, these are gonna be what we call your transverse process now. And then just in pink in between, this is just to highlight roughly where those vertebral discs are going to be. Okay, we're gonna start looking at some of the ligaments on the spine now. So first one we're gonna go through is the posterior longitudinal ligament, which actually connects all of these spinous process together. So what this is actually going to do is prevent excessive flexion to protect the client. So obviously when that spine goes into flexion, it's to prevent any injuries from occurring. Okay, just on the other side of the spine, so obviously I can't show you this one, what it would look like from an anterior point of view, but you're gonna have the anterior longitudinal ligament now, and what that one's going to do is prevent excessive extension. So as the client arches their back in, perfect, it's gonna prevent them coming too far back that would actually pose an injury. Okay, the last major ligament that I want to talk through now is the intertransverse ligaments. And what these are gonna do is connect these transverse processes together, running down those vertebrae. What this is going to do is prevent excessive lateral flexion. So if you can just side bend for me, perfect. Obviously they're going to engage and they're going to prevent the client from going into like hypermobility and damaging any of those ligaments. Okay, so just going back over to what we mentioned about the landmark and talking about C7 and how if you can find that, you can work out anything else with regards to the spine. I wanna give you a bit of an example. So, and this is where good anatomical knowledge is gonna come into play. So if you can find C7, so again, feeling down, feeling that bulge just at the bottom there. So I know that C7, and then when I come down, I've got T1, T2. So just as a good example here, T2, three, four, and five. So if I can find T2 down to T5, I know that the rhomboid major is going to attach onto these vertebrae here. And I also know that it's gonna come down and span towards that inferior angle of the scapula. And all of that can be worked out just by knowing where C7 is. So if a client comes in, you know that there is an issue with their rhomboid major because you've done your assessment. You can locate from the C7 counting down exactly where that rhomboid is going to attach so you know you are working the correct area. And that is a wrap on today's video. So as always, if you've enjoyed the content, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Let me know what kind of videos you want to see coming up on the channel in the future. And as always, I will see you in the next one.